Happy New Year. Welcome to another exciting season on the HSBC BWF World Tour. We're starting 2022 off in beautiful New Delhi with the Yonex Sunrise India Open. Welcome to the KD Jadav Indoor Hall right here in Central Delhi as the tournament, Super 500 tournament, makes its return to the calendar after two years. It's the first of 27 events on the HSBC BWF World Tour this year. We'll be heading next to Said Modi International in Lucknow. That's next week. But right now, the focus is on the Yonex Sunrise India Open and its quarterfinals day here. It is, of course, the first of the 27 events on the calendar and we are all fighting for this trophy that is the season ending hsbc bwf world tour finals trophy and that will be played in guangzhou in december so it is all building up to that as i mentioned it's quarterfinals day here at the yonex sunrise india open and this is your order of play eight matches to be played on court one starting off with mixed doubles Chan Peng Soon, Valerie Xiao of Malaysia, taking on Rodion Alamov and Alena Davlatova of Russia. That's starting things off. It'll be followed by women's singles action, Lauren Lam of USA versus the second seed, Busanan Ongbam Rungpan of Thailand. Men's doubles next and top seeds, Mohamed Hassan, Hendra Setiawan of Indonesia. They will face off against young Norwegians, Victorious Flatten and Vegard Rikine. And that'll be followed by women's singles action and another top seed in Pursala v Sindhu, the Indian number one, taking on Ashmita Chalia, her compatriot. Men's singles next, Sergei Sirant of Russia, taking on the world champion, Lo Can Yu. That is coming up here on court one. His brother will follow up next, Lo Kian Hian and Terry He, his partner taking on Indian second seeds, Satvik Sairaj, Ranki Reddy, and Chirag Shetty. That'll be followed by men's singles action again, Kim Brun of Denmark against Brian Yang of Canada. Young matchup there. And last but not least, it's women's doubles, the Aimsad sisters of Thailand and the number four seed facing off against Chaudhry and Jakar of India. That's what's coming up in an action-packed day here at the KD Jadav Indoor Hall. And this is your draw in the mixed doubles, which will be the first match on court one. Chan Peng Soon, a familiar name with his new partner, Valerie Xiao, the fifth seed. They'll be up against the Russians, Alamov and Davlitova. And they will take on, the winner of that match will take on the winner of the Terry He and Tan pairing match against HV and Butt of India. So that is the draw that's up next for the winner here. Chan Peng Soon there. He is walking out with his new partner. He's a familiar face on tour, of course. The 33 year old, he was uh, partnered up with Go Liu Ying up until December last year, a very famous partnership that saw them win the Olympic silver medal in Rio in 2016. But uh, they've decided to split up and now he's back with the Badminton Association of Malaysia who've teamed him up with Valerie Siao, the 19-year-old. Rodion Alamov, the Russian, with his partner of many years, Elena Davlatova. They have been partners since the junior level, so they know each other really, really well. And they've broken into the top 20 in the world, an up-and-coming pair seated second here at the Yonex Sunrise India Open and they'll be looking to make history by reaching the first Super 500 semi-final. They have won the Said Modi International in 2019 so they are familiar with Indian conditions but this is new levels for the Russians and they are certainly excited to see themselves progress and go ahead hoping to get a win here against the Malaysians. This is their first meeting, the two pairs, but right. Chan Peng Soon has right played the Russians before right. with his former partner, Go Lu Ying. They've met oh, yeah. twice before, and they won both those matches, Chan Peng Soon and Go Lu Ying against the Russians. 
at the Russian know, Open in 2015 and then at the 2019 Thailand Masters. Masters. So he does know the Russians well. It's just about whether these two can click and get the better of their opponents today. They've had a fairly good outing at the Yonex Sunrise India Open so far. That's our umpire for today, Fine C. Dutton. Soon there, the Malaysian. He is indeed a veteran on the tour. 33 years of age, Chan Ping Su, born in Penang, Malaysia. He's reached as high as number three in the world. This is former partner Ko Dui. He's looking to make great new grounds, I should say. New partner. new to him to be partnered up with younger partners. I remember in 2017 uh, when Go Luing was injured for a long break, uh, I think it was about nine months, he partnered with others and uh, did well. It was, uh, if I remember right, Peng Soon was partnered with Chia Yi Si. And after just three starts, they went on to win their first title at the Russian Open back in 2017. And then he also had a one-off partnership with Peck Yen Wei. And that surprised many, that pair, because they reached the semifinals of the Indonesian Open, that also in 2017. So he is used to new partnerships. He's used to leading them and taking charge. And we're hoping to see more of that here today with uh, Valerie Siao. But it will be a tough challenge against the Russians who are in very good form, in very fine form. And uh, we will see the match get underway very, very shortly. And that's out. The Russians take the first point of the match. That was a lovely little drop shot from Davutova at the net. 
And it is just about brushing off the early nerves here for the Malaysians. Great kill shot Three. there by oh. Davutova at the net again. So a uh, good start by the Russians. Three love lead in this first game. Quick start as well. Jab was out as well. She was hitting the lines. She was aiming for those lines, but but she just got it. Three one. Again, very good at the net, Dablatova. A drop shot there as well. And she was going for that backhand slice there, Dablatova, but found the net instead. So, Chan Ping Sung and Valerie Seal with two points on the board now. Well out from Alamov. Oh! Oh! Hit it hard there, Alamov. Going for the smash. It's four all now. They found their way back. A lot of experience here in Champing soon, so he knows he has to play a patient game. It was really nice serve. Alamov has challenged that, it was called in. That is well in. So, it was an unsuccessful challenge from the Russians. And uh, Chan Ping Sun and Valerie Xiao have taken the lead here at 5 4. Clearly targeting Valerie a little bit more, the Russians. And she bent over backwards to try and get to that shot. She made it, but then it went wild. So, five all. Not surprising that uh, the Russians are trying to keep Valerie in play as much as possible. She is the less experienced of the two Malaysians. But just like that, the right back there taking the lead. The service ball call was too high. That was really nicely hit by Valerie Xiao. Right in between the two players. This time it was the Russians who found the corners of the court. The points are coming fast and quick in this match. A really nice cross court smash from Rodion Alamov there.
again, the tactic of the Russians proving to be handy right now. They are targeting Valerie and uh, exposing her weaknesses a little bit. Nice serve there from Davlatova. And it's a three point lead for the Russians in this first game. That was out. So, Malaysia throwing a point back. It's important to keep pace with their opponents not let the gap become too big. That was called out. And Chan Peng Soon has challenged it. Well, this is a partnership that's going to take some time to get going. And it was out, it's about well out. So the challenge unsuccessful. As the Russians have taken the lead at the uh, mid game break 11 8. And they'll take a short break and confer with their coaches. Six minutes. And it's 11 8 to the Russians. Fourth one, 20 seconds. Fourth one, 20 seconds. And the players back on court after a quick chat with their coaches. It'll be the Malaysians who will try to close the gap. They're trailing three points Play. in this first game. And it is unfortunately a service error from uh, the Russians that sees the shuttle exchange hands. He did it well to leave it out. He changed his mind right at the end there and that was a good decision from Rodion Alamov. Good reflexes there from Chan Peng Soon to keep the shuttle in play. Nice drop shot and followed up with a smash. He did well there, Rodiam Anamov. Setting it up with a drop shot, forcing his opponents to come forward and then smashed it down. 23 shot rally. It's the longest so far in this match. The points have been quick and short so far. And Russia now with a four point lead. Great return of serve from Chan Peng Soon there. That was hard hit by Chan Peng Soon. Steep 13. shot. It was moving downwards and it forced the error of Davlatova's racket. Oh. Oh. That was 14. just on the line from Nine. Davlatova. The Malaysian coach. Again, really nice play here from the Russians. They're looking to keep the points short, not giving the Malaysians too much chances, too many opportunities to fight back. And that was 
a wild return well yeah. out from Valerie Xiao as the Russians take a five point lead now. It's important here for the Malaysians to keep pace, try and close the gap. They don't want to give the Russians too much advantage and confidence, but it has been a strong performance from Alamov at the back so far. He's hitting it hard. Again, lovely smash, straight down the middle from Rodion Alamov. Valerie Siao made to do all the work. Oh! And uh, just when oh! Chan Ping Soon comes into 13, action, 18. he knows just what to do, forcing the error of Davlatova's racket. And this really is a case of uh, you know, t two very different pairs, one that have been together since junior partnership, the Russians, and one that's almost brand new, scratch pairing, just you know, a month of training. So. Oh. The understanding is not quite there. And Alamov and Davlatova now just two points away from taking this game. It has been smooth sailing for the Russians as they set up game point. Seven game points, in fact, in hand. A very good lead. And uh, she was 14, going for the drop shot there, Davlatova, but didn't quite get it. So they've saved one. Can they save six more? Win. Unfortunately not. So Russia's Rodion Alamov and Alina Davlatova take that first game, 21-14. And uh, a very strong performance from the Russians. as they've taken the advantage and the lead in just 12 minutes. It's been a really fast game with uh, Alamov and Davlatova, you know, giving the Malaysians very little space to move, to play their game, get them comfortable. None of that from the Russians. They were hard hitting and fast moving. And there's a lot of work now to do for the Malaysians to come back in this match. Tio Kok Siong is the Malaysian coach in charge of this mixed doubles pair. And uh, under the guidance of their new technical director, Rexy Mainaki, these two have come together and uh, you know, that 14 year gap between the two, Chan Peng Soon and Valerie Xiao, is an unusual thing, but we don't see that often in badminton. But I think this is where Chan Peng Soon uses his experience to guide his younger partner. He knows plenty about playing these Court one, Russian pairing. Court one, and he'll be hoping to use that and help his partner understand them better, understand their game better. But right now, it is Russia in charge in this mixed doubles quarterfinal as they serve in the second game with a one-game right. advantage. There's a good serve from Alina Davlatova. 
just on inside the lines. Again, really well played. R good placement from Rodion Alamov. Two love lead in the second game. Seems quite subdued so far from the Malaysians. A nice Three. drop shot from Davutova in the front court. She is doing so well to cover the net. And that's out. So four love four. very no. quickly. And the militians yeah. really need to do something here to turn things around. This is their first big test, playing the second seeds. Going to give them an understanding of where their levels are. And finally, they're on the scoreboard. Valerie Xiao attacking play ensures the point for them. Nice uh, from Go. Valerie Xiao and uh, unfortunately for Davutova. Her return finding the net and so they've closed the gap to two points. Hey. This time though there was no mistake from Alina. The Malaysian coach thinking about how to change things up in this match. The Malaysians find themselves trailing a fair bit. They're down a game and 3-5 in this second. But forcing the errors of the opponent, keeping the pressure on them will certainly help. Can certainly change things around very quickly in badminton with the momentum swinging. from Davlitova again at the net there as Chan Peng Soon look to come forward attacking the Russians especially the in the front court beautiful drop shot lovely play from Alina Davlitova there Great smash Seven, from four. Rodin Alamov in between the two players. Both went for it, trying to return it. And so Russia have taken the lead. Look, he's placed it so far away. Great placement to set up that smash. And the 7 4 lead now for the second seeds. Four. Again, great Eight, four. cross court backhand from Rodion Alamov just very smooth and sublime movement from the back of the court from the big Russian both pairs trying very hard to sort of attack and keep the points quick Not wasting any time. No. We're getting ready. Six. Right. Five. That's a good exchange here. She tried very hard to six. Eight. Hit that short hard, Alina Davlatova, but it is Chan Peng Soon and Valerie Siao who came on top in that exchange. Some aggressive hitting there. Oh. 
another longish rally. So Seven, both these rallies that were slightly longer have gone the Malaysians' way. Just nice net play from Valericia right at the end there. And just like that, it's a one-point game. Malaysia back in it. And it's a run of points that has proved very useful for Malaysia. They've clawed their way back to make it 8 all in this second game. Uh, he's going for that backhand, but a little too late in Chan Peng Soon. But you can see the Malaysians feeling better about their game right now. Quick reflexes there from Valerie Xiao. And uh, Chan Peng Soon was looking to do that around the back shot, but it's a little late on that. So Russia in the advantage, but a very narrow advantage. Valerie so Seau well. with a lovely Nine. net shot there. Oh. Just gliding the shuttle across the net, finding the space. Just so, so. on the line. Ten. Just Nine. making it there. Very close. Great exchange in the net between the two female players, and then Dablatova doing well to just find the lines. Oh. Eleven, nine. And so Eight. at the break, it's 11 9 to Russia. The two points up. In the first game, they had a three point lead, and so it's similar to that before they ran away in the first game. So, the Malaysia this time will be hoping to keep in touch to try and close the gap and stay in this match. 11 9 in the second. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, the players 20 come seconds. Back in court. Yeah, the Russian duo, as I mentioned before, have been playing together since the junior level. And they, you know, 11, made some history nine. for their country by becoming the junior champions in 2017. Okay. And then again, the senior champions in 2021. They found a success on the International Challenger circuit with seven titles. And they'll be looking to win their first Super 500 here in India. Nine. India, happy hunting ground for Alamov and Davlatova, having won the Said Modi International in 2019. Lovely play from Davlatova in the front of the court nine. again. Just a cross court net drop shot from the 23 year old Russian. Finding the spaces in the front court really well. With a service ball so there. 10, 13. And so now it's a three point game. 
with the Russians up 13-10. Another so, so wild backhand from 14, Valerie Ciel. Pressure is on her to try and keep the Malaysians in this match because they keep attacking her. So, so, uh, so she has to sort 11, of absorb that pressure 14. and try and fight back. Another error of Valerie Ciao's racket, with the shuttle going out. And it's a four-point lead for Alamov and Davlatova. Chan Peng Soon not getting much of a look in in this match. And understandably so, because he is the much more experienced of the two. So the Russians taking advantage of this newly formed partnership. 16-11. They're edging closer Three. to victory, Alamov and Davlatova. Again, 17, love. lovely play from Davlatova in the front of the net. Eight. And Valerie Siao struggling to get to that shuttle. A six point lead for the Russians. Another wide shot. 18. Love. from Seau. So just three points away now, Alimov and Davatova from clinching this match. Fantastic smash from Chan Peng Soon, using all his muscle. Chan 18. Chan Peng Soon so, so. driving yeah. that rally as much as possible, but in the end, an error from Valerie Xiao means it is Alamov and Davlatova who are two points away from winning this match. Poor return of serve Training from Peng Soon. Match, point, match point for the Russians. They've got eight match points. Alamov and Davlatova. It's a nice long rally to force the error of Alamov's racket and save a point. Malaysians have got to keep at it. Still seven match points for Russia. Oh, he tried to attack that, but in the end, his shot finding the net. So, Alamov and Davlatova secure the victory. 21-14, 21-13. They'd be really pleased with how they played in this quarterfinal. There you go, smiles and fist bumps all around. And uh, they have secured a place in the semi-finals. The Russians in their first Super 500 semi-final here at the Yonex Sunrise India Open. Looking good, looking strong, looking dangerous. 21 13 in open looking strong looking dangerous 21 14 
for this. Yeah. Back to the Yonex Sunrise. 